welcome to this parts video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a Git repository for your database libraries in Altium. You can start out over at pcbpartsblogspot.com if you'd like to follow this example. Select download parts. Also make sure that you have Office 365 or uh, current version of Microsoft Office installed should be 64-bit. I've created a folder here, a blank folder. I'm just going to paste in the files that I've just downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, you also need to create a trusted location. Um, you can read this security notices if you need to. Anyway, it just describes in here that you can run the script to create a trusted location or you can take and follow these 10 steps or so um, to do the same thing the script does for you. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a copy of Tortoise Git. Um, so you want to download a copy of Tortoise Git and get that installed on your machine also if you plan on having a, using a Git and, with a library. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the parts front end after we just got through downloading it. We can ignore that first little message there. That first message just meant the desktop shortcut was out of date. And when it starts up, it creates a new desktop desktop uh, shortcut. So just real quick, what we've got here is a small database with only 22 records in it. Um, this is the parts front end. Uh, the database is split, meaning there's the, the database and then there's the user application to interact with the database, which is the parts front end. Um, when you first download, they're both in the same folder. Um, but if you want to look at the database, you could open it. And you can see it's got one table in it with 22 parts, just for example. And it's got three queries in it to query by capacitors, inductors, or resistors. You can add queries or delete these queries if you like, but it's just another way of organizing um, some of the most common parts that you have in your library. Anyway, that's all there is to the back-end database. Looks a lot like a spreadsheet. Now what we'll do is We'll just go ahead and hook onto that in Altium also. So we'll go ahead over here and select our components panel. Now it's panels, components, and we'll go to our file based library preferences and do an install. We'll go over to the parts folder and we'll select our dblib. Select close. You can see now we have um, the same. Uh, database parts that were, I just showed you over in the access database. There's the 22 parts and there's our capacitors, inductors, and resistors. Okay, so now what we want to do is look at how we're going to move this um, library into a Git repository um, for version control so it can be shared with other users uh, for collaboration. Um, however, you can use it as a single user or multiple users. So the way I would start out would be to go under file and we're going to create a new project. I'm going to call the project parts git repo. I'm going to put it in the, the parts uh, C folder here. I'll hit create on that. And we'll take a quick look. By hovering over here we can see that it went into um, C parts into a folder called parts git repo. That's not really quite where I wanted it to go. So I'll go ahead and just do an explore. That'll open up our, our file explorer by doing that right click and explore. And I'll go ahead and close this project and close Altium down for a moment. And now what I want to do is just move that up into my parts folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete that folder there. don't need that folder. 
right, so we can see our, our project file is here. We can double click on it to open in Altium. We can see the location now is over in part. So what we're going to do now is add existing to the project. So these will be files that were in the download. We're just going to go to the symbols folder and we're going to select just one uh, a schematic symbol. I recommend selecting the new one. It's just a template. We'll do the same thing for a footprint. We'll add existing to the project parts footprint new. And then we'll also want to add the dblib file, add existing to project, or dblib. And if you like, you can go ahead and add the database also. So go down here to all files, and we'll select our um, demo database. There's a lot of other files in here, but the one we're looking for is this demo, parts demo, ACCDB. Okay. Just leave it at that for now. That's enough to get us started. So we can see we've got our database. We've got our dblib. We've got one schematic symbol and one um, footprint. So now we'll, all we need to do is make that project available online let's see all this stuff let's try to do this make this project available now i think we need to first add all this stuff to version control i'll just say okay i don't want to take time to put a description in Let's just take a quick look and see if everything got into version control. Okay, so at that point, um, we have our project into version control. Um, we no longer need to use this project again. Um, we just needed to use it to create our Git repo. So I would recommend you close this project, and you never need to come back into it or, or add anything to it again if it's been properly set up. So now let's take a look at the parts front end again. If you remember, but when we first launched the parts front end, it didn't have these um, buttons on it. And these are our buttons that have been integrated with Tortoise Git. If we can select our Explore button here to take a look at the files in the back end. So you can see here that we've got um, footprints, we've got um, symbols. And one of the things I would have liked to have done is I think I would have liked to have added a data sheet also and maybe one step model. So maybe we will go back into Altium. Let's just do that real quick. And we'll go back in there. And what I'm going to do is add existing. And I'm going to take a data sheet. Just add one local data sheet. And I'm going to add one step model. All right, so we'll save that to the server. Uh, let me add these guys. Add version control. And there was one more. We're going to add this to version control. commit all that. I'll just say set up parts repo. All right, I think we can close this project in Altium now. I don't think we'll need that any longer. If we were looking at our components panel, nothing's really changed there. To refresh that same library it's just now under version control so let's take a look at the parts front end two copies of the parts front end to open and we'll close one of them so I don't get myself confused 
So anyway, if we were now to look in the using the Explore and take a look at the repo, you can see that we have a CAD folder, some CAD models in there, and then we just need one for the purpose of getting started. So notice we only checked in that one footprint. This is where we're going to get ready to try to check in some more. So I would recommend that you just go ahead and use Tortoise Git. We'll go back up to the top. I'll try to commit this. You can see now that we've got all these other footprints. So at this point, I would always be using Tortoise or the parts front end to push and pull and add parts to the repo. Most of the stuff we can go ahead and push up there, but there's a few files that you should ignore. Um, we should always ignore these um, lock files. These, those are the LA, LCCCDBs. And you'll also want to ignore your, your license file. the user file. So I'm going to ignore those. And we're going to also want to ignore the parts front end because that's a dynamic file. It's continuously changing and it really should be local on each user's machine. It's not part of the uh, repo. Okay, so at this point we should have I think everything that we're looking for here, we've uh, disabled the license files and the parts front end. We'll select the, the rest of this stuff here. And I'll just say this is the initial commit for parts. It. and then we'll push that okay so now if we were to look at our symbols or footprints you can see that all the symbols have been checked into the repo the same thing with the footprints if we were to look at the CAD model we can see it's been checked in the same thing with this local data sheet it's been checked in. We can do a diff if we like to see if there's any differences. There's no differences at this time. We could do a pull just to see the integration of Tortoise Git. Um, I don't expect to see any differences at this time because we haven't changed anything. Everything's up to date. Um, if we did to commit, there's nothing to commit at the moment. Um, but at that point, you've got everything all set up and you're, you're ready to go. Um, and that's all there is to creating a, a Git repository for your database library in Altium. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can always reach me over at pcbpartsblogspot.com. Just select the contact tabs um, button and you can leave me your name and email address and I'll get back to you and answer any questions that you may have or we can follow up with an online demo if you like. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.